Are gotta you hide. tired of dying to shotguns? Shit game! Are you sick of boss campers sitting in the building 24-7? You oh. still want a quick swap, but it's nerfed. You see what I'm saying? Then oh. fear not. The aftermath is for you. Today I will be showing you how to become a professional aftermath gamer. This video will be divided in four parts. The setup. Getting extra ammo. Controlling the recoil. And some gameplay, so you can get the idea of how to use the gun. So, the setup. Once you recruit your hunter, make sure the hunter has quartermaster at the start. Along with, obviously aftermath, and double uppercuts. Why double uppercuts? Because you get that extra ammo. Up to 30 in reserve. Don't be like this guy, and then question yourself, why you took aftermath with Mozina Brez. Dude, it's so bad. Off the list. Yeah. After your first successful match, you should get the following traits. Greyhound, Pack Mule, Vulture, Physician, and Lightfoot. I equip Dauntless and Gator Legs cause I had extra points. I usually take Dauntless for defusing the nades of course, and Gator Legs to move in the water normally. After your second successful game, you should get Doctor Trait. When you finish your level 50 hunter grind, you should end up with these traits. The most important ones, Doctor and Frontiersman. I took Bulwark for taking less damage from explosives, keep in mind Bulwark doesn't work against frag bombs. Necromancer because I'm mostly playing trios, so it's easy to revive teammates from afar. And that's pretty much it. As you can see here I had Silent Killer, because I picked it up from a meathead. But you can respect it, and exchange it with Gal, Bullet Grubber, or with anything else you would need. Also, I exchanged one Vitality Shot with another extra ammo box, that's because we have Doctor, Frontiersman, Pack Mule, and Vulture, so you are pretty much set with heals. Doctor gives 100 HP. Frontiersman gives extra tool so extra first aid kit, pack mill gives extra stuff from looting and toolboxes, and vulture allows us to loot hunters that have been looted twice. You can go for 4 ammo boxes if you are confident enough, but I prefer having one vitality shot for that fast full HP. Now that we finished with setup, we can head in game and show you how to get extra ammo. So the reason why we took Quartermaster with double uppercuts and not Mozinabres is because the uppercuts give the most reserve ammo while being empty. Let me show you. As you can see, after emptying our uppercuts, and getting long ammo from ammo boxes, we have 30 ammo in reserve. Great success. Some tips for emptying uppercuts, once you spawn, and the game starts, don't just start shooting your uppercuts, most of the veteran hunt players will know you are playing aftermath, because you are spamming uppercuts at spawn. I suggest wasting her uppercut bullets on meatheads, if you see any, or shoot on your way to the boss killing AI. Or, if you spawn in the compounds like Chapel, Blanchard or Stillwater, and go in the downstairs part, you make less noise, while shooting because you are below. Sadly this only works on still water by you, because Lawson Delta doesn't have any bottom level parts. Now we can head to controlling the aftermath recoil part. So let me just say it. Aftermath is the most RNG gun in Hunt Showdown. It doesn't have any specific spray pattern to always go in the middle, it's always RNG. 
the only thing I do, is this. And that's pretty much it. Only thing you can do, is slowly turn after mid downwards, of course if you crouch, you will be more precise. By playing more aftermat, you will start getting the feeling of the gun, and what's the right amount of turning your mouse downwards. Remember. Aftermat is still Mozin Nagant. It still has Mozin Nagant stats, including its range and damage. Of course if you are shooting at range, you will probably miss most of the shots. That's why you have 15 ammo in the magazine and 30 ammo in reserve. Here are some examples of shooting at medium to long range. Remember, aftermath is RNG. He's by the piano, by the piano. Aftermath may sometimes shoot 4 bullets, usually it shoots 3, I don't know why this happens. No, no, no. Oh, oh. One. Two. Reloading. And three, Froggy. Then 20 years to Froggy. Oh. It's two teams. It's two teams. I'm resin. Oh, my. Field, field. If you snipe that. I know this was a rolled clip, but this is just to show you, Aftermath still works on range. To finish this guide. Here are some gameplay highlights of me using Aftermath, so you can get the idea of the gun. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Discord. Discord link is in the description. Also if you want more videos like this let me know. And remember, Aftermath is RNG. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Until the next time, see ya. They might take my phone, honestly.
<laughs> legal spots. I read it spots. That boat, but oh, the death. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, with flash. 